All right, here we go. I'm going on a little solo whitewater kayaking mission. So I just dropped my kayak off at the put-in on the river. Um, I'm gonna drive my truck downstream, get on my little uh, little girl's cruiser bike, and uh, ride back upstream to my kayak, and then float back down to my truck. Kayaking's complicated. It's a sunny, beautiful day in Alaska, and I'm gonna take you whitewater kayaking. And I know this truck's four wheel drive, but if I didn't have a winch, I would be uh, a little more careful about where I went, but uh, this is usually pretty chill, but there's like a foot of snow in this parking lot last time. So this is the takeout for Six Mile Creek down this little road here. Let's see what's going on. So with a camper, you always have to watch out for trees like this. This thing's not super tall. So this camper is exactly 11 foot 3 inches to the inch when the suspension's not squatting or anything. Um, so yeah. I've, always a little bit conscious of stuff I'm uh, driving under such as tree limbs and whatnot this is sweet it's like the snow's gone almost I wonder if I can drive all the way down hmm uh, I'm gonna say that's not quite ready to drive down yet all right let's turn around and we're parking up top Alright, so I'm going to get changed into my kayaking gear, pull the bike off the roof, and uh, go ride back up to my kayak. Here we go. Man, nothing makes you feel out of shape like uphill on a cruiser bike. Got about uh, five miles. That sounds right. Five miles to go. Let's do this. So I forget the uh, the helmet mounts for the camera, so I turned around. Back to the takeout. All right, all the way back for those two essential pieces of equipment. Oh, it just occurred to me that I never introduced Bethel. My good buddy, uh, old Maxwell Edison. Um, he's a uh, the used bike part collector guy, so he builds all kinds of crazy stuff, but I uh, went to his yard and picked out some uh, bike parts and put it together but essentially it's a uh, a 12 year old girl's uh barbie cruiser and some other parts on it and it works awesome and it's extremely free which is cool the kickstand kind of oh you know have i mentioned how much i love gravity whoa And about four or five miles later, we have arrived at the put-in. We call this the elbows. Oh. Cool. Let's go boating. Aha. Whoa. That's pretty gross. I didn't see that. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's go boating. All right, I'm about to drop into the second canyon, Six Mile Creek. Figure I'd do a little warm up roll. Make sure I still got it. Oh yeah, baby. Nice and cold. All right, let's 
Let's go send it. That was an awesome run, man. Let's uh, build a fire. leave this uh this door cracked just a little bit in the beginning and then close it after maybe five minutes so there we go should be toasty in here in probably half an hour and check this view out while the fire is warming the camper up oh not too shabby ah not too shabby at all Yeah, butter! I'd say this is definitely enough for two meals. Two delicious meals. Walking across the icebergs. I'm gonna go have some dinner on an iceberg. I've never done that before. Yeah. Cheers, man. This is cool. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for our next one. All right, cheers, guys.